Find the probability of rolling doubles on two, on two six-sided dice numbered from one to six. So when they're talking about rolling doubles, they're just saying if I roll the two dice, I get the same number on the top of both. So for example, a one and a one, that's doubles. A two and a two, that is doubles. A three and a three, a four and a four, a five and a five, a six and a six. All of those are instances of doubles. So the event in question is, rolling doubles on two six-sided dice numbered from one to six. So let's think about all of the possible outcomes, or another way to think about it, let's think about the sample space here. So what can we roll on the first die? So let me write this as die, die number one. What are the possible rolls? Well, they're numbered from one to six, it's a six-sided die, so I can get a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, or a six. Now let's think about the second die. So die number two. Well, exact same thing. I could get a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, or a six. Now, given these possible outcomes for each of the die, we can now think of the outcomes for both die. So for example, in this, in this, let me draw a grid here just to make it a little bit neater. So let me draw a line there, and then a line right over there. Let me draw actually several of these just so that we can really do this a little bit clearer. So let me draw as, let me draw a full grid. All right. And then let me draw the vertical lines. Vertical lines, only a few more left. Mm, there we go. Now all of this, this top row, these are the outcomes where I roll a one on the first die. So I roll a one on the first die. These are all of those outcomes. And this would be I run a one on the second die, but I'll fill that in later. These are all the outcomes where I roll a two on the first die. A two on the first die. This is where I roll a three on the first die. Three on the first die. Four, I think you get the idea, on the first die. And then a five on the first die. Five. And then finally, these are this row, this last row is all the outcomes where I roll a six on the first die. Now we can go through the columns, and this first column is where we roll a one on the second die, a one on the second die. This is where we roll a two on the second die. So let's draw that out, write it out, fill in the chart. Here's where we roll a three on the second die. Three. Three, this is a comma that I'm doing between the two numbers. Here's where we have a four. Here's where we have a four. We have a four, and then here's where we roll a five on the second die. Just filling this in. Filling this in. Almost, oh whoops. <laughs> this last column is where we roll a six on the second die. Six on the second die. A six on the second die. Now, every one of these represents a possible outcome. This outcome is where we roll a one on the first die and a one on the second die. This outcome is where we roll a three on the first die, a two on the second die. This outcome is where we roll a four on the first die and a five on the second die. And you can see here there are 36 possible outcomes. Six times six possible outcomes. Now with this out of the way, how many, how many of these outcomes satisfy our criteria, satisfy the criteria of rolling doubles on two six-sided dice? How many of these outcomes are essentially described by our event? Well, we see them right here. Doubles, well that's rolling a one and a one. It's a two and a two, a three and a three, a four and a four, a five and a five, and a six and a six. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six events satisfy this event, or, or are the outcomes that are consistent with this event. Now given that, what it, let's answer our question. What is the probability of rolling doubles on two six-sided die numbered from one to six? Well, the probability is going to be equal to, it's going to be equal to the number of outcomes that satisfy our criteria, or the number of outcomes for this event, which are six, we just figured that out, over the total, I want to do that in pink color, over the total number of outcomes, over the size of our sample space. So this right over here, we have 36 total outcomes. So we have 36 
36 outcomes. And if you simplify this, 6 over 36 is the same thing as 1, 6. So the probability of rolling doubles on two six-sided dice numbered from 1 to 6 is 1 sixth.